what are the roles? So we'll go through this quickly. You've got your data governance oversight team. So this is where we were seeing some where the real addition and effort and time needs to be. Your steward, so these are your, your experts that are actively engaging maybe in your functional data decision making or technical or policy decision making, maybe some accountability roles, I'm in charge of this, or, um, or this, this concept that I'm a fan of, which is your data steward support triage role. So this doesn't have to be necessarily an expert in anything, but they need to be someone who can sort of be at first tier support for questions or requests or, or you know, looking at a list of things and go out and find the stewards and the experts, even if they're not an officially defined steward, like who are these subject matter experts that I can pull in? Um, so we'll talk about those, those roles. There's a whole hour long webinar on data stewards uh, roles and managing that. I think there's two of them actually. So I encourage you to go look at that. The other kind of role that has effort is your technical tools and data systems gatekeepers or owners. So these are people maybe who are your, your DBAs or your, you know, the people who might manage or, or, or vendors even in some cases who manage your data systems, your databases, your, your, your data applications, as well as your tools, your reporting tools or ETL tools, your experts on that, your trainers. So these people may not be the ones who are understand the data, write the data, but, but are ones who can give access and grant access and, and control it. So much of the time, th there are things that you can do, which we'll talk about around automation and automated discovery of metadata that are incredibly valuable and have a lot of return. But if you don't have buy-in and support from your data system gatekeepers or technical gatekeepers and the little upfront support to help facilitate that automation, that can be a real, so it's a small amount of effort from those people, but the big thing is getting buy-in from those people more than effort. From your data creators and analysts, there's a lot of value to getting them to add marginal effort on what they're doing um, as they build new things to get those documented and to also engage in experts to make sure what they're doing is accurate and correct. For your data requesters and consumers, um, you know, the real effort there is in providing them with the training and visibility of these new tools and solutions and processes so they can engage with them. Sometimes though it might be you know, asking people to, to not use an informal direct channel, like I'm gonna write an email or call someone and ask them to give me an answer to a question, but ask them to go through you know, your ticketing system or your request system so that that information about how that answer was created and what that answer was and where the data came from gets documented. And that can be a hard sell for some people that feel like that's extra effort. You know, and it's okay if you don't get 100% of those stuff, but the more things you can get you know, documented, the better. Uh, lastly, the data governance catalog tool administrator role is one that, you know, has, we'll talk about the, the, the various efforts there and facilitating that, uh, you know, getting the tool set up. And that's really going to depend on the type of tool that you have. As I mentioned, you know, our tool is designed to be very little tool admin effort. Uh, some have more, right? And that depends a bit on what capabilities you're trying to do and how you're trying to make that. That, that work. 